homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today I am turning a, a drill press into a wood carver. Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You go, well, you know, can you do that? Can this, that, and the other? What I'm going to do, what I've got here is a drill press that I've been converting to a mill, okay? And you can go back and see the series that we're doing with that, converting a, a, a Harbor Freight drill press to a mill. Now, this drill press will turn at like 4,500 RPMs. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, uh, what, about, what did I do with it? I'm going to show you carving a spoon. I've just cut out a blank on the bandsaw, okay, a roughed out blank out of a piece of poplar for a spoon. I want to make a, a wooden spoon. So I'm going to carve it on here. There'll be a little bit of carving by hand, but if you've ever carved anything by hand, the blisters on your hand tell you, ow, okay? I've carved a lot of stuff uh, when I couldn't get things the way I wanted them, okay? I carved them. So, what I've done, in order to set this up, I took a piece of three quarter inch plywood and I mounted a block to the back of it. You can see that. And the plywood then, move that back so it's out of the way. Really, it can be down here. The plywood then, sits right in the jaws of this uh, chuck. Let me put you down here so you can see what I did. See, right there's the right there's the bench vise. It could be any kind of drill press bench vise. It sits right down in the jaws of that. Right in there. And then I fasten it down. Now, this is stable. It's a stable platform to work from. I'm going to start off roughing the outside with this, uh, just a straight, straight router bit. <clears throat> now it's set at its highest speed, which is 4,500 RPMs. A router turns at about 10,000 RPMs, so that creates some problems. And the problems are that when you use a router and you're trying to carve, you can't see what you're doing. Plus, holding that router up will wear you out. If you've ever tried to carve with a router, holding a router up will absolutely wear you out. Now, what I want to do is I want to raise this table now. I can raise the table. It's just got a little screw thing on it. So let me loosen the table and raise it. Uh, about all drill presses have this. See, it's right here. Okay. I just turned this and now crank it up. I'm going to crank it up. Get on there. Screw come loose. Get up there. There we go. I'm going to crank it up till that router bit is almost touching. Okay? And I'm going to turn it back down, tighten it back down. And see, there's my router bit. It's almost touching the ground. Make sure it's not. It was just a little bit. Now, I want to clean up to the lines on this. So, let's get started. Okay, I checked it. It was not going. It was only going at like 1200 RPMs. So, let's see.
smoothing that down. I turn it over, smooth off that top edge. That's got me down to my lines. Now what I want to do is make interior lines. And carve out the bowl of this spoon. So now I've got to lower it down. and change bits. Bit's kind of hot. Now put in this bit. And I'll have to trim that off quite a bit. Okay, right there. But that's okay. It's not a perfect carver. Now, I'll get ready to where I can lock this into place. You can lock your drill press into the depth you want. So I'm going to drill down a little bit. I want to go to start with. Pull it down and lock that in. <clears throat> okay, it's locked at that depth. Now let's take it on down, because that's not deep enough for a spoon. Thank you. 
Now, once you get down to this level, okay, there are some problems. And I'm about to remedy those with this. This is just a clip-on fan. Okay, it clips right here. I'm going to plug it in. Let me get over here to the extension cord. Now I just turn the fan on. And it gets the sawdust out of my way. Every now and then, that'll work loose. And you have to reset it, which that's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, there's a lock, and I can lock it in. I'm going to make me a, a thing to lock that in better, but... There is one spoon roughed out. Okay, a lot of my woodworking involves needing to carve. Uh, if you've ever carved something, <coughs> okay, using a knife on hardwood is just not something easy. Okay? I carve with my old timer pocket knife most of the time. Uh, but all I had in my pocket this morning was this. I hadn't planned to do this. I planned to do something else. So, I've got a kidney stone. And it's just not being nice. So, I had planned to uh, start working on the tractor shed and start using the tractor and grading a little bit, but uh, Mother Nature decided that wasn't what I was going to do, which, you know, Mother Nature is her own taskmaster. She does not accept what Joel Eldridge says. as the final word for anything. All right, so I will uh, finish shaping this up and come back to you and show you what it looks like. Uh, it's not rocket science, okay? And I know rocket science, trust me. I know rocket science. Uh, I was a physics teacher for 30 years, so I know rocket science. This cuts down on the amount of work required to do something like a spoon tremendously. It takes a lot of work to, to shape these bowls, okay, and these spoons. It takes a lot of work. So I'm going to get at that with this and finish it up, and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, that's my first attempt at a spoon, okay. My son has been out here. Uh, practicing with it and his spoons look like something you buy at the store but this is my first attempt at a spoon it took me approximately 19 minutes counting the time on the mill and the time with uh, my pocket knife and a sander okay it is a perfectly usable wooden spoon 
it needs some uh, needs some sanding down here in the bowl. I haven't sanded that. The bowl is still just a little bit rough. 18 minutes to whip out a usable spoon. Uh, to a carve that spoon, uh, you'd have to have carving tools and that kind of stuff. The old timers, they used their pocket knife. But can you imagine carving that bowl with your pocket knife? If you've ever carved anything, that's a... Uh, that's uh, something that's tough. Now, if you've carved stuff, when this video comes out, I'll post it on our Facebook page. Put pictures of what you've carved in a Facebook page. I would love to see them. Put pictures of the stuff that you've carved. Uh, I'm not a carver, okay? I've never, I've never really been a carver. I used to try and carve some stuff. I've carved some chess pieces and just little bitty things, but I've never really tried to carve stuff. This is my first attempt at really carving anything. And it came out pretty good. Okay, this spoon is not round. I didn't round it. I left it big so you old, old fingers could hold on to it. Uh, but that's my first attempt. Now, will this be a good carving machine? I don't know. We'll have to use it and make that determination. My son loves it. He thinks it's the best thing since sliced bread. And he makes the he makes the spoons with the groove down them to to uh, for uh, tasting spoons and and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so he loves to do that stuff. So he's got all the carving tools. And me, I I used to have carving tools. They're stored somewhere. Uh, I've got them in a tote somewhere up in the barn because I didn't have a place to put them here in the shop. So I don't know where they're at. I haven't used them in eight years, so they're maybe rusted up. But that's how to turn a drill press into a carving machine. Now, if you like this stuff, this do-it-yourself, make something out of something that's not supposed to be that way, uh, homesteading, prepping, all that kind of stuff, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homesteading stuff every week, sometimes once, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. Now, if you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll be right up here. Uh, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday and Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Let me get that right. Now, it's time for me to get on to the next thing and get this nasty shop cleaned up so I can start the tractor shed build.